so many remakes these days of uh, movies. What do you guys think about a, a nine to five remake? Well, we, we'd, we'd have to be on the fringes. They would, they would probably cast Britney Spears in some way. <laughs> Jane and Lily first wowed us in nine to five, but now they're back with Grace and Frankie and proving that some things just get better with age. Oh, now you can't eat until Monday. You're both in, in your 70s and you look so beautiful. You always have. What do you do to, to stay looking so young and feeling so young? If you're alive and you're spontaneous and you are eager to live, I think you s stay younger. We want to address the stereotype, you know, which is that after a certain age, it's all downhill and there's no more joy or sex or play. And it's simply not true. I am young. My joints are supple. Television is where a lot of the best writing is now. And because of all the, you know, the, the cables and Netflix, you can be edgier. And so it's just very attractive. Especially for older people. Knowing now what you know, what advice would you give a younger version of yourself? Well, wear sunscreen. <laughs> Save a portion of your income every week, no matter what you have to give up, even if it's sunscreen. Never give up. I mean, when I was young, I never thought I was going to make it past 30. I thought I was going to die of alcoholism and loneliness. Aww. And, you know, that hasn't been the case. I certainly never thought I'd be 77 years old and working with Lily Tomlin in a Netflix television series. And um, so I feel really blessed. And I'd like to say to my young self, you know, don't give up, no matter how hard it is. Try to make the best of who you are.